Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to transfer your data from your Samsung mobile to your Oppo mobile. Okay guys, so in this video we're going to show you how to transfer data, so video, music, docs, pictures, apps and their data, contacts, messages and call logs from your Samsung phone across to your Oppo mobile phone. So it took me a little while to figure this one out just because they are different models of phones. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is we're going to use a program called Clone Phone. Okay, and you'll find that on your Oppo phone under the Tools menu. So you should have a little uh, menu button like this. You can go in and you'll find your tools there and just press on Backup and Restore. Okay, now you can just hit Update. All right, you just want to hit accept. Okay, now you will see that the tool is actually gone there. So if we swipe across, we should actually find another little icon there called clone phone. So let's open that one up. And then you can see up the top here, it says, please select the current phone type. So is this a new phone or is this an old phone? So this Oppo phone is going to be our new phone. So we're going to select new phone. And then we've got the two choices to go from Android or we can go from iPhone. So we're going to, this is a Samsung phone which runs on Android, so we're going to press Android. Okay, so here comes the tricky bit. So you need to use the app called Clone Phone uh, on, your, on your Samsung, but it's not, it's not actually available on your Samsung phone uh, right off the bat, so you're going to have to download that. So if you look down the bottom here uh, on your Oppo phone, it says if the old phone does not have Clone Phone, you can tap to install. So you press tap there and the next step here it says if the QR code cannot be scanned you can type in the following URL to download the clone phone app okay which is what we're going to do but because we don't obviously have a QR reader on the Samsung Galaxy phone we can just type this in manually anyway so you don't actually need to get stuck so we need to type that um, address in to your web browser on your Samsung phone Okay, so I've gone ahead now and on my uh, web browser on my Samsung phone, I've typed in that, that address. I'll give you a close-up of that so you can see it there. So it's http colon forward slash forward slash i dot clone phone dot coloros dot com forward slash download. Okay, so that's been done now on the Samsung phone and we're going to hit download. Okay, and it says we've already downloaded it because I downloaded it earlier, so I'm just going to hit download anyway. All right, we're going to open the file. Now, here's where the, another tricky bit comes up. You have to actually allow your Samsung phone to use the app because the app is downloaded from the web and not from the Play Store. So it's just giving you a warning there that it could be suspicious. We're just going to hit settings. Then we're going to go down to where it says unknown sources. We're going to go into that. And then it says allow this installation only. So we're just going to temporarily allow that app to install. And then you can see it comes up with the install button down the bottom. App installed, we want to open it up. All right, we want to hit allow because it's going to, to copy all the data across, you're going to need to give it access to all your files. So allow, allow, checking the version is up to date. So if we go back out of there now, and we should be able to find our uh, clone phone application. So we want to press that one. All right, and then we want to hit start cloning. All right, and you can see there now it's come up with the QR reader. So we're just really quickly going to do the QR scan on our phone. All right, you can see it says connecting there now. All right, and the two phones have now connected. Now, if you had any trouble uh, with these um, starting to clone uh, these two phones, just make sure you go back into your security settings and turn off things like your passcode or your phone lock, okay? Because they will stop the this transfer from happening because it's a security feature. So turn off your passcode, turn off uh, any security features that you might have, have on your phone, and then it should allow it to go through without any problems. Okay, you can see here we've got um, transfer all of the contents of this phone to the new phone, and this is including contacts, messages, call history, Photos, videos, music, system data, apps and their data. So this will work for the majority of apps, but not all apps. So don't bank on it um, and then just go start cloning. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all there is to it. So you can see it's going to go through now and it's transferring all the data across. And once you're done this step, you're pretty much done. 
Now, another big question I also get is, will it copy all the data across? Can you still use your old phone? All it's literally doing is exactly what the app is saying. It's cloning your phone. So it's just literally taking a, a copy of the data from here and putting it on this phone. It doesn't delete anything from the old phone. It just moves, it just copies everything across and makes makes essentially an, a clone, an exact clone of your other phone. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.